Hey champions, welcome back to the final episode of Esports Weekly from the Masters Qualifiers. We've already selected two of three teams for North America and Europe to compete in the Masters land. While we only have one left, we've seen every champion except Inara be played in the Masters Qualifiers. Let's take you back. Europe still had a lot on the line going into the final weekend. The first set of the day would be between District 69 and Wolves Esports. And now Wolves had a strong start in the Masters Qualifiers, but have struggled as of late to find wins. District 69 weren't ready to let off the gas despite clinching LAN already and took the set two games to none. Interlopers and Burrito would be the second set of the day. And this set was a must win if Burrito wanted to force a possible tiebreaker scenario later in the day. Everything looked good for the reigning world champions after a solid 4-0 start, but the Interlopers have been on a hot streak. They took down District 69 in the ESL Go4 Cup during the week and they wouldn't go down without a fight against Burrito. Interlopers entered Game 2 with an interesting composition, but one that they were very comfortable with nonetheless. Interlopers forced Game 3 against Burrito, and Creatives had a bonker-esque performance piloting Shaw Lin on Frog Isle and helped Interlopers find the upset against Burrito. The tale is old as time, Burrito versus District 69. This matchup can go either way on any given day of the week, but District 69 has been finding themselves on top as of late. Game 1, we saw Perdo actually take a page out of Dosip's book with Tyra the Huntress on Serpent Beach. Burrito dropped Game 1 on a misstep, fighting near the point but not on it, failing to force an overtime. Game 2 was an extremely entertaining one to watch. Picks we haven't seen in a very long time. Evie, Fernando, and Grover all came out to play. District 69 came out on top of the Fiesta 4 points to 2 and finished the Masters qualifiers with a perfect 6-0 record. Interlopers found themselves against Wolves in the final European set of the Masters Qualifiers. And thanks to their win over Burrito, they actually had a chance to steal away the first seed heading into the gauntlet. You could see this in Interlopers' play. They wanted what was theirs, and they got it done, finishing with authority 4-0 in Game 2 to secure the third seed in the Masters Qualifiers and the first seed going into the gauntlet. The final standings for Europe are the following. District 69 with a perfect 6-0. Burrito with three wins, three losses, Interlopers in third place with two wins, four losses, and Wolves Esports rounding things out with one win and five losses. Congratulations to District 69 and Burrito for qualifying for LAN, and good luck to the Interlopers and Wolves Esports. That's going to do it for Europe. Let's head on over to NA where we had almost identical clinching scenarios this weekend. Astral Authority continued their dominance and took the first set of the day extremely quickly with back-to-back 4-0s despite Dosups not getting his Tyra on either game. Eager and AGG had the most on the line for the day. A win here would keep AGG in control of their fate and force a tiebreaker later in the day. But Eager would assert their second seed in a spot at land with back-to-back 4-0s against the boys in red and black. The third spot this week would put one and two against each other, Astral Authority versus Eager. With a win here, Eager would force a tiebreaker for first seed at the Masters land, but after losing 4-1, Eager just looked like they wanted to have some fun rather than go for the tiebreaker. Stolze whipped out his famous Sky in game two, but it turns out Sky wasn't the magic bullet to end Astral Authority's hot streak, and the top seed finished out the Masters qualifiers with a perfect 6-0 record. The final set of the weekend had the potential to force a tiebreaker, as every set before it. AGG came out strong in Game 1, looking to put Panda Global away early, but Z1 Unknown, with sheer force of will, pulled off some huge plays to climb his team back and take Game 1 4-3 in favor of Panda Global. Game 2 on Stonekeep was just as close, coming down to a 3-3 scenario, but Panda Global again ancient raged their way to victory and forced the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker would be played as a best of one sudden death format, one last game to determine who would be the final boss of the North American gauntlet. AGG with their backs against the wall finally were able to find a win, 4-0 in the tiebreaker and they would cement their top spot in the gauntlet. The final standings for North America are the following. Astral Authority with the perfect 6 wins, 0 losses, Eager in 2nd place with 4 wins, 2 losses, AGG in 3rd place with 2 wins, 5 losses and finally Panda Global at the bottom with just one win and six losses. Congratulations to Astral Authority and Team Eager for making the Masters land, and good luck to both AGG and Panda Global in the North American Gauntlet to see who can secure the third and final spot. We can't forget about our friends down under. Team Kanga, formerly known as Abyss Esports, have qualified themselves, not losing a single game throughout their qualifying process. 
I had the pleasure of casting their finals that were a best of seven series against their rival team, Avant Garde. They were able to finish off Avant despite giving up a point for the first time in the series. They stamped their tickets to Atlanta with a 4-1 win. So that's gonna do it for the Masters qualifiers, guys. We've got one more team to select from both North America and from Europe. Those will be decided via the gauntlet this weekend, same time, same place on the Paladins Game Channel at 3 p.m. Make sure you follow us on both Paladins Pro and follow along on esports.paladins.com to be the first to know when we go live. My name's Pretty Hair, and thanks for watching.